Thank you all for being here under the sun. I know it's hot out there on this momentous day. I want to say that it is such an honor for me to be here in Newport News today for this wonderful and distinguished celebration of this keel laying and this milestone in the building of the USS Enterprise. I want right away to thank Ms. Jennifer Boykin and all of her colleagues here at Newport News Shipbuilding for hosting me and my family here today. I want to thank the Honorable Eric Raven, Undersecretary of the Navy, for being here today for this very meaningful moment. And thank you again to former Secretary of the Navy, Ray Mabus, for affording Simone and me the privilege of being co-sponsors. There are two themes I wish to touch upon today in my remarks as a co-sponsor. First, one of the things I always try to convey when I have the privilege of speaking to groups, especially young kids, and I know there are several young, young kids in the audience today, that as fun as it is to play sports and look to people we admire in sports, and I certainly did that in my youth, with maturity comes the realization that the real heroes are people who work, often unrecognized, in our communities, around the country, in very difficult and all-consuming jobs, where things are created and built, people are educated and trained, our various faiths and beliefs are exercised, and where our health, our society, and our freedoms are protected. In this regard, I want to thank the men and women who are involved in all phases in the designing, development, and construction of this magnificent vessel. Your devotion, pride, and sense of duty and obligation are so clear as you work with the recognition of the paramount importance of what you are building. By helping to keep our military strong, you are helping to keep our country safe. As the granddaughter of a Navy surgeon, the late Dr. Edward Jordan Hagen, who served with the Marines in some of the worst battles in World War II's Pacific Theater, I very much want to proudly recognize the brave military and civilian personnel who go in harm's way to places unknown to protect our freedom. And I want to recognize the incredible sacrifices made as well by the families and loved ones of all of these individuals those who support both the shipbuilders and the servicemen currently, and those who have done in the past. I know there are veterans today in attendance who served on CV-6 and CVN-65, as well as shipbuilders who helped build CV-6 and CVN-65. Can you all, and in fact all veterans today, please stand if able so that we can honor you. Thank you for your service and for being here to honor the current shipbuilders and the future crew members of CVN 80. It's an honor to be a sponsor of the Big E, a ship with such great history. Mr. Norberg, it's such a pleasure to hear your stories today, and I hope that you will all continue to feel connected to the Big E as CVN 80 is built and commissioned. The second theme I want to touch upon briefly is the, important, the importance of endurance, fortitude, and consistency. Two of my favorite mantras in my swimming are take the lead, keep the lead, and no shortcuts. In my swim races, I'm known for getting out to a fast lead and, and holding on to that lead. From meeting some of the shipbuilders today, yesterday, and a few years ago at the first cut of steel, and following the progress already being made on the Big E, I can tell that there are great leaders in this community of shipbuilders, and I am confident that this will continue. We're off to a great start, now let's keep it up. Secondly, no shortcuts. It is apparent to me that even as these shipbuilders work with great efficiency, another key in swimming, to complete each task, no shortcuts are being taken to ensure that the Big E lives up to its great reputation. While I'm no expert, I can imagine that your work can be challenging at times, and this can feel like a long process. Everyone here today is a part of the Big E family, the team. 
Keep the end goal in mind while celebrating the small victories of your teammates along the way and encourage each other along the way. I certainly look forward to following the shipbuilding process and celebrating more milestones like this one today with you all. So once again, to the shipbuilders and servicemen and women here today, please know again, I give to you as the ship's co-sponsor my most sincere and strong gratitude as you work with great spirit as a team to build and utilize this marvel that will be known as the USS Enterprise. Thank you.